Hey everybody, this is Kevin from BFB and I'm at Alta Plaza Park in San Francisco. Hope you really enjoy the view in the background. Anyways, I'm excited to welcome you to my new series called Reddit Knows Best, in which I will be taking a closer look at the coins being shilled on by Redditors, cover what it is, why people like it, and what I think about that coin. So why do this series? Well, because I think Redditors are great at finding gems or diamonds in the rough in the wide world of crypto coins. Because of Reddit, I got into NEO back when it was AntShares, Kyber really early, and IOTA as well. And so for this very first episode, I'm going to be covering Reddit's Cinderella coin. You guys all know it. It's called Nano, formerly Rayblox. So if you enjoy this content, please smash that like button, click down below to subscribe if you haven't already, and sit back and enjoy the show. Okay, so season one, episode one on Nano. Really excited to do this one for you guys. It's one of Reddit's gems, like I've said earlier. So a quick overview for those of y'all who don't know yet about Nano. It's a cryptocurrency focused on the currency part. So it's not trying to do a lot of different things. Like you see some of these like all-inclusive platforms these days, but it's just trying to be the best digital currency out there, which is cool to be focused in a day where everyone's trying to be a generalist, in my opinion. And it's focused on person-to-person -person transactions. Remember this, because it's going to be important in a bit. It's first released in 2014, so it's been around for quite a while as Rayblox, XRB. You guys probably heard about this last year or early this year. And it was distributed via faucets. Rebranded to Nano in early 2018. And here are some of its notable features. It's instant transactions, zero fees, and infinite scalabilities. Well, how do they achieve this? Well, through delegated proof of stake for consensus. So some other coins use this already that you may have heard of. But in general, it's definitely more energy efficient than proof of work that like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin uses. They also use a block lattice architecture, which is something else that enables it to have infinite scalability. And this is DAG based, so that's directed acyclic graph, kind of like IOTA or Byteball. And honestly, Nano is pretty similar to IOTA, but instead of focusing on machine to machine transactions like IOTA's protocol is doing, Nano is focused on person to person transactions, kind of like I stated earlier. They also have a really active development team led by Colin. And you can go take a look at the development work on their repositories and also just go chat with them in their community channels as well. Finally, and this should not be understated, they have a really large community support. You can find this all over Reddit. Reddit really loves this coin. This is why this is the first one I chose for this Reddit Knows Best series. And they've done a lot with this coin in terms of adoption and generating interest. So what is Reddit's take? Well, what better way to look at Reddit's take than some screenshots of quotes I've gathered? And before we dive into that, I just want to let you know that a lot of the quotes kind of share the same sentiment. So I kind of chose different ideas and positions on it from the Reddit world just to show you. So this guy says, instant, free, scalable, and green. And this is huge for many people, including me, and needs to be stressed. So once again, a great currency and also eco-friendly because that's something that Bitcoin really fails at with its massive mining farms taking up a lot of electricity to secure the network. One thing that it doesn't do is have smart contracts. And so, like I said earlier, I think that's totally fine because it's focused on being the best digital currency out there, not necessarily trying to have a smart contracts platform, even though that is potentially possible in the future with layered solutions per se. So some pros, free and instant transactions, undervalued, great dev team, community is solid, like I've said earlier, and everyone came together and helped it get listed on a few new exchanges. And this is a little bit old, so not very accurate at this present day. It's currently only on two exchanges, but they've gotten a lot more so far since this was written. So it's a working product that works right now. There's not vaporware. And so many people like this coin because they've had it out for quite a while. They have a wallet. It's on exchanges. You can send it to each other. And this is not to say they don't have wrinkles or bugs that they have to fix. 
but it definitely does work and it's not something that's waited to be releases with most of its features not yet done. And another one is that some of the mine coins are monopolized by like Bitmain or other big mining pools, but Nano doesn't have that problem because it's not mined. So another person says that they really love XRB or now Nano, and over the next year the kinks will be smoothed out and it will be a truly transformative option for cryptocurrency. And another thing is that there's no incentive to run nodes, but that argument has no merit. So definitely something for you to look further into. But this really shows the general sentiment of the overall public and why Reddit loves Nano so much. And the last one I included is Rayblox or Nano does one thing and one thing well. Fast and free transactions. It's honestly the perfect currency. Just wanted to really stress that point in. This is why people love this coin. And so just to take a look at some price action for all of you traders or potential investors to see where we're at in the overall story. And this is a snapshot of late last year, right before the pump, through the pump and a steady but healthy correction, just like the rest of the altcoin market. But it has been recovering for the past few weeks, all the way over to around $10 and now a slight consolidation back to $8. Not a bad entry point in my mind as compared to if you bought back then at around $30, for example. So some final thoughts by me. Well, first of all, the community is great and they're really taking adoption into their own hands. They've been tipping gamers who live stream, who in turn give them shout outs and gets further name recognition for this project. Online merchants in the crypto space are accepting Nano, and this has gotten them a lot more traffic and further things to talk about and share about with other online merchants. They also came together and won the Binance Exchange community vote. So this is a community vote that Binance holds that decides what new coin people want listed, and then they go ahead with doing that. Someone from the community also built BrainBlocks, which is a nano payment gateway built by a fan of this coin and is a way for people to accept nano for payments for like e-commerce, for example. They even got Charlie Lee to take a look and Charlie Lee wrote on Reddit and Twitter some of his thoughts, but overall saw a lot of promises with this project. So the team is also very active and professional. They are constantly working past hurdles. For example, the exchange node bugs, which came up a few weeks ago, but has since been fixed. They're also continuing with innovation, which is very necessary in this crypto space to stay relevant. For example, they're building universal blocks, which is something I encourage you to go take a look at on their official website as well. Finally, I feel like they handled their BitGrail drama decently, all things considered. There could have been way worse ways to handle this really sticky and unfavorable situation, which honestly wasn't even their fault. So would I invest? Well, yes, to be honest, I already did, but I didn't get in super early like a lot of you guys did on Reddit back when it was like $1. Rather, I waited until the bear market really hit to get in at much more favorable rates as compared to people who bought in during the height of the boom. So thank you for watching this first episode of Reddit Knows Best. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing a lot of these other videos looking at what coins that Redditors are really pushing, diving in, seeing if I would want to invest, and maybe there are some gems like there was when Nano or Rayblox was back under a dollar and they were being pushed on Reddit. So hopefully you can find some gems by watching the series. As always, thank you for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe now. Hit that notification bell to catch this episode as soon as they come out. This is Kevin. Great having you here, and I'll see you next time.